Hey, it's your girl Barbie J here, and I am doing my review on the verses. Okay, I'm doing a recap of the verses, whatever. I had a good experience listening to this verses with Earth, Wind, and Fire and the Isley Brothers, and I was got I got all ready for it. You know how I have to get into characters. So I went into my '70s Afro with my tie dye dress on, and I said, "Okay, we're gonna do this verses." I was testing out going live. My nephew had me testing out how to go live on YouTube. So I did that for about an hour. But, okay, let's start off with, first of all, Steve Harvey said, this ain't even going to be a battle. This is going to be, you know, it's like a family reunion. They were like, they have been cool all their, all these years, all their life. And one thing he did say, which is which is true, these people know how to sing. You know, some of the new people, they were saying that when they come up, they don't really be singing. They have things that work their voice and make them seem like it, but they didn't have reels and tapes and all that stuff. They had live bands. They were, they were jamming, you know, not that anything's wrong with it nowadays, but these old school guys were great. Okay. They brought back all the oldies, all of them. I, I, I think there might've been two out of the, let's see, everybody did about 25 songs each, so that's 50 songs, but I'm going to have to start off with saying I'm pissed right now. I am pissed. I'm pissed because I waited the whole night to hear Earth, Wind & Fire play September, and it did not come on. It shut off right when they was going to play the last song. The last song playing was Who's That Lady by the Isley Brothers. And I'm like, they better be playing September after this. And my versus thing shut down on all my devices. And I went and tried to get back on and couldn't get back on. My girlfriend was able to get back on. She said she tried three times. I only tried twice. She said the third time she got back on and heard part of September. I am pissed right now. First of all, when y'all take a break, if you're going to take a 10-minute bathroom break, Take 10 minutes. They took like 22 minutes, I think it was, their break. And I was done. Done. It might have been longer than that. But that's why it got cut off because they probably had it until midnight. And here I am staying up just to hear September and I didn't get to hear it. So I'm pissed right now. So excuse my attitude in this review because I am mad. Okay? Yes. Anyway. Let's get on with this. So, it started off with, let's let's talk about that suit Steve Harvey had on, okay? Y'all want to talk about the Steve Harvey suit? Okay, that suit. All right. Some people might have said it was too much. But it was slamming to me. That lavender, that's my color. I don't care. I'm black people. We could wear all them colors. He had on that lavender suit. It was off the chain with that white hat. And a lavender or purple feather up in the top. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I loved it. I'm sorry if other people didn't like it. He had on his Easter suit finest and I loved it. Okay. He was pimping. Why Ron Isley had on that fur coat? It must have been air conditioned in there. It was killing me. It was like take it off because it's, it's harming you when you're trying to sing. And don't he look damn good for 79? Ron Isley, 79. I wasn't... Used to that white beard, I, it seemed like during the pandemic, a lot of people have grown these beards and they've been white. And, and I'm just like shocked when I see them. And a lot of black people too, I'm talking about. Anyway, so, Earth, Wind & Fire versus the Isley Brothers. Is it really a versus, guys? Can you really pick one over the other? Who do you pick? Who do you really pick? Because this this is hard for me. It was hard for me because depending on what you want to do, if you in the mood for making love and or chilling one night with a glass of wine, you going to choose Isley Brothers, right? But if you in the mood to dance while you dusting and cleaning your house and vacuuming, you won't pick Earth, Wind & Fire. I mean, that's how I break it down, you know, so... I don't know if this was really a versus because as Steve Harvey put it, it was a celebration. He's saying these guys, they, they groomed him. He said, they made me who I am. They shaped me who I am. They, that, look, them bands were serious. And he's like, these are, these guys been singing before there was tracks, before there was, uh, 
auto tune before there was, you know, uh, Facebook, internet, cell phones. I mean, these guys been singing. There was no social media. You wanted to talk to somebody you saw on the next day. Damn, shoot, they started before there was probably answering machines. I mean, <laughs> these guys been around for a long time. But he was like, when the eyes we start singing, <laughs> uh, what any of them start singing, Steve was like, you better ask your mama about this. There's some grown people music here. And I said, he right about that, that baby making music, because that's what they did. But I thought it was a great, um, I enjoyed it. They were playing all the hits. Everybody who I spoke to was enjoying themselves. I know I did. I, I find it hard to um, pick a side who won. Did you know that the Isley Brothers had 28 platinum records? I was like, albums? I was like, wow. I was like, they, they basically, it's a, like they said, it was a family affair because they were family. What was Ron Isley said? One of the guys, I think Ralph or one of them bought his son his first stroller and all this stuff. I was like, this ain't going to be no battle. This just going to be a wonderful big party. This, this was a block party. That's what it was. I was like trying to hold back and not dance. And I was trying to get it in. And they was jamming. Yeah. And they played, I mean, I saw the most I saw so far was 439,000 people had logged in. And I know they were first saying that, um, what was it? Um, Was it Brandy? And, not Brandy, no. Was they supposed to have the largest one? Brandy and I can't remember the other chick's name. Sorry, honey, that I forgot your name. But this had to beat them. I mean, they picked 25 songs each. 25 songs. And <laughs> I like when Steve Harvey did the shout out to Ciroc. Talking about his, um, he said it's sponsored by Ciroc. He said, they didn't ask me to do it, but I did. So I better see a check, Diddy. <laughs> He's like... Puffy. I think he called him Puffy. Puffy. I'm like, he don't use Puffy anymore. Don't he use Diddy now or something? Anyway, I thought it was a wonderful, like I said, review. They hit all the songs. The only one was missing was September and it got cut off at the end. And now I'm going to probably go to bed and cry because I'm upset about it. I'm so upset. But I love those songs. I had no idea um, the women singing in the background for a lot of the Earth, Wind & Fire songs was um, The Emotions. Those were my group. That was my girls, The Emotions. That was the first album I bought when I was a teenager was The Emotions. I loved them. So they were saying they did background off of Boogie Wonderland and Don't Ask My Neighbor. Or was that their song? That might be their song. But I had no idea that 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 was interesting. But somebody tell me why did they play a Denise Williams song? They played Denise Nisi. Didn't they play Denise Williams? Um, oh well, I got to be free, da -da -da -da. free, free. Yeah. And I said, why are they playing that? Because people, I was actually getting phone calls from people from business. I'm like, why are we calling June at 11 o'clock? Okay, but anyway. So, the last song I heard was Who's That Lady? I'm pissed that I didn't get to see September, hear September. I don't know what else I was, oh, I didn't say anything about D-Nice. D-Nice did his thing. I like the way they did it. They, it was very organized. It was one of the Yale songs, one Isley Brother, one Earth, Wind & Fire. One Isley, one Earth, Wind & Fire. It wasn't two of this one in a row and two of that one in a row. It was so confusing. Oh, Patti LaBelle. That's what it was. Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight. I think they were messing up doing that. I don't know who their DJs were, but it was good having the one DJ who, you know, did work for everybody. Anyway, um... What else? I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say about this. I kind of forgot everything, y'all, and y'all got to forgive me because I'm pissed because I didn't hear September. I was waiting and waiting. I can't even stop talking about it because I was waiting. I know, June, Bobby J, get over it. Get over it. Get over it. I know. I, it's hard for me. That is my jam. Do you remember? Do and, da, 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 da. and my girlfriend texted me and said, they saved the best for last. I said, what you mean? They didn't even play September. She's like, oh, yeah, I heard it. I was like, Jeez. Why you got to try to get back in? That's because they took too damn long 
at the bathroom or whatever that little break they took. And Steve Harvey, everybody's complaining that he was talking too much and talking too long. And Ron was like, shoot, no, we want the younger people to get up and dance to our stuff. That's what we want. You know, we don't want them to hear us talking all the time. But Steve had a story for everything. It wasn't too bad that he had a story for everything. It, it was nice, you know, to know that these, these songs move people in certain ways and stuff. But then they did say, Ron Isley said they're working on something, a collaboration. Now, I don't know if he's saying they're working on something with the earth, with earth, wind, and fire, what they saying? Or was he saying him and his brother are working on something new? But I thought they were talking about a collaboration. Like I said, my phone kept ringing. People kept calling me. And, um, oh, uh, but that was it. I think that was about it. 79 years old. Boy, Ron Isley looked good. So they played all those jams. Ugh. Let's see. What was the Earth, Wind & Fire major jams? That's the way of the world. Ooh, that was a good one. Reason. The reason that we're here. Gotta get you into my life. Into my life. Through devotion. After the love is gone. Ooh. Wish upon a star to follow where you are. Boogie Wonderland. Eh, eh, eh. What was that? Way, way. What is that? Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Talking about me, you. The one I didn't know was um, Love is a Symphony. With that slow song, I didn't know that one. I, I, I don't. I just it didn't ring a bell to me. Serpentine fire, mm, the serpentine fire. I I mean they were they were hitting everything. Let's crew tonight. Okay, they did that. What else? What else? What did they say? I think that's the one they said the motion saying but let this groove all night. That they sang the motion saying background on that one too. Keep your head. Keep your head to the sky. And then, uh, let's see, the Isley Brothers. You know, I love, I know the dance songs. The Isley Brothers. Hello, 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 hello. Woo! Let me say it again, girl. Oh, girl, y'all better stop. What else did they sing? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. You're all I need. See, them all the baby making songs they were singing. When, oh, when, when will there be a harvest? Oh, for the world. Doom, doom. I don't know that one, how to, the rhythm right now, Harvest for the World. What else? Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze makes me feel fine, blowing through the jasmine in my mind. Choosy lover. What was that Shake It Up Baby twist and shout? Did they do that song? Shake It Up, Twist and Shout? I thought that was by somebody else. So that one threw me off. That one threw me off. Let me say it again, girl. What else is there? Um, it's your thing. It's your thing. Mm -mm, do what you want to do. Do, 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 do. I can't tell you mm -mm, who to sock it to. Oh, I got work to do. I got work to do. I got work to do. I like that song. Ooh. Here we go again. Here we go. Living for the love of you. I, I don't want to sing all the love songs right now because I'm going to get myself excited. And I'm home alone, so I don't want to do that. But I will go in with the... Woo! In between the sheets. I can't even start. If I start singing them songs, I'm going to be a wreck up in here. Uh, in between... Don't say goodnight. Don't say goodnight. Just things... But Oh, my God. There was one I didn't fight the power that bees. Dun, 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 dun. You're contagious. Now those contagious songs, that's when he was playing that part with Mr. Big. Is that when that was? 
And then the um the other song, I think it was actually called Mr. Biggs, but it was part of that whole R. Kelly trilogy thingy, right? Wasn't that part of that? And then did they do make me wanna shout? Come on, yeah, shout, come on now, shout, 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 shout. But then it ended with who's that lady? While I was waiting for. Do you remember? Do, do. And what else? Uh, fantasy. Fant no, I'm going back to Earth, Wind, and Fire. They had fantasy. And I betcha. I was, but I betcha. You can't hide. Anyway, those were the songs. They, I enjoyed myself. It was like a big old party up in here. If it wasn't COVID, I think people would have been jamming in the streets. They probably would have had versus watch parties going on. That's what they should have had. But y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comment section. I thought it was a great versus. I enjoyed myself. Now I want to go to bed and I want to cry. Because like I said, I wanted to hear September. Now I got to go play it by myself. Echo, play September by Earth, Wind & Fire. That's what I need September to hear. September by Earth, Wind & Fire on Amazon Music. On Amazon Music. Oh, shoot. Now I gotta hear it on my own. Hey y'all, I'm leaving. I had to play it on my own. Hey, woo! Do you remember September? Okay y'all, I gotta go. I gotta straighten out my afro. This is Bobby J saying peace.